my boyfriend was dancing with somebody else. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about something a little bit more personal so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. On my long distance relationship, he lives in Mexico. By the way, if you are Mexican, Latinx, please give us a huge thumbs up. It'll really help me and it'll show that you guys really support me. And I live here in the United States. Been a rough path. So let's start with the story of how we met. It was December 21st, 2016. Um, that was the year when my family and I traveled um, to Mexico for a yearly trip. In Mexico, depending where you're from, there's bailes or dances. So it was my prima and I, we went to a dance. I was 15, she was 16, 17, I think. And just so you know, these parties are, everybody's welcomed, everybody can go. We weren't gonna be allowed to because first of all, we were, we were so young. And second of all, it was late at night, but we managed to convince our parents to let us go. Keep in mind, she had already been talking to this guy for like a couple months before this Mexico trip. When we get to the dance, she sees him. When she saw him, I saw my boyfriend, which wasn't my boyfriend at the moment, but I saw him and I really liked him. And I was like, okay, like I like him, he, he's pretty cute. And he was hanging out with the guy that my cousin had been talking to. We were sitting down, right? Just enjoying the view, enjoying the people dancing. All of a sudden, the guy that my cousin had been talking to comes up behind her right she just says hey get it my lad like do you want to dance and then she was like oh yeah for sure and this and then she was like are you gonna be okay i was like yeah yeah go ahead go dance go have fun so <laughs> i was hoping you know i was silently hoping that my boyfriend not my boyfriend at the time asked me to dance i was like okay i i really hope he asked me to dance i really want to dance with him he's really cute and i just waited and waited and then like not even 10 seconds later after she got up, <laughs> he comes up behind me and he asks me, ¿Quieres bailar? And I was like, yes, of course. Yes, let's dance. But that was not my reaction. I was just like, okay, yeah. <laughs> but internally, I was so happy to dance with him. And so we danced. And I was like, hey, what's your name? He asked me that first. Oh, Alexandra, and yours, um, Chava. And I was like, oh, okay, nice to meet you, and this, and that. And that night, it was just so perfect. Like, I danced with him, and I don't know, there was a connection between us. I, I felt it, I don't know, I don't know, okay? But that night, we were so excited that we got to dance with, first of all, cute guys, second of all, we had a blast that night. We were just dancing and laughing and it was just amazing. And then the second day, I remember there was gonna be another dance and my cousin and I just got ready and we were like, you know what? We have to go dance with them again. I, I We wanna see them and we have to do anything in, in our power. So I remember we got ready that night and we begged our parents to let us go to the dance and our parents would not let us go out and I was devastated. I was like, no, I have to go. I have to see him. Like. You know, <laughs> my world just came down from not seeing a, a guy that I just met like a day ago. So what ended up happening was they did let us go, but it was like limited time. They were like, you have to be back here at 10 o'clock. Otherwise, you guys won't be going out the rest of the stay in Mexico. So we went, right? And we couldn't find them. Like we were like, oh my god, we, we got ready and this, and we can't, we we didn't see them. Let's go back home. So as we were we were about to go home, we see them again. But my boyfriend was dancing with somebody else. No, God, please, I, no. I I was mad. You know, I was like, how how dare you like how dare you dance with somebody else after meeting me you know you can't do that <laughs> keep in mind he was not my boyfriend at the time so he was free to do whatever he wanted what i ended up doing was dancing with my cousin another guy so i was dancing with him and as we were dancing like there was a lot of like um couples dancing i was like looking at my 
boyfriend dancing with this other chick and I don't know who it was but now to this day I know it was his ex anyway okay so <laughs> he was dancing with his girlfriend at the time and <laughs> I just kept making eye contact with him and I was like why is this guy looking at me but he's still dancing with some other chick and this so I don't know he <laughs> guys are so <laughs> I don't know anyway so we were dancing right and you know i was just going all crazy i remember just that night i did not dance with him at all oh um, it's just for some reason we just didn't end up dancing so the time came to go home and we we went home and as we walked home i see him sitting down with this other chick um, and as my cousins and I were walking home, I turned back, right? And he's looking at us like he has, okay, so I'm him and there's this other chick right here. I'm sitting down with him, right? And we're walking by. I turn around and I see him looking at me or at us. I don't know who he was looking at, but I like to think it was me. So he was looking at me and i just quickly like turned around and i was like okay you know what nothing happened the next day and then the next day there was another dance and they were like you know what we're gonna go but we don't care we don't dance with them we're just gonna go for us they let us go it was like nine o'clock and we see them but this time my boyfriend was hanging out with with his friends no girls around nothing just his friends at this bar kind of thing um they were they were drinking my cousin and i sit over here like way far from them and we just keep glancing over to them and we're like you know what we don't care we don't dance with them i don't care who cares we're gonna dance with each other so we ended up doing that just dancing with each other until it was like almost time to go home and i was like you know what F this, screw this, I'm gonna go ask him to dance with me because I wanted to dance with him and he wasn't dancing with anybody so I was like, you know what? I can dance with whoever I want and I'm gonna dance with him. So I went up to him and he was around his friends, like everybody was there and this was like really scary for me because I was what, like 15 years old and I was going up to a guy and asking him if he wanted to dance with his friends, you know? <clears throat> and so I go up to him <laughs> and he just turns around like, He's like this tall, I'm like this tall. And then he's just like this with his friends. And then little me comes up and says, hey, do you wanna, do you wanna dance? And he goes like that, <laughs> all surprised. And he's like, yeah. And <laughs> so we go dance, right? A few songs. Guys, if you ever wanna do something, but you're too scared, just do it. Just do it. If I hadn't asked him to dance that night, like who knows? Maybe we wouldn't have been together, you know? But we ended up missing our curfew, right? We lost, we lost track of time. We were just dancing all night. So my parents come and I see them. Surprise, I motherfucker. Them. And they see me dancing with him. And you know, my Mexican parents are like, who is that? Quien es ese? And they didn't say anything at the time, you know? But when I, when, we, when I went home, they kept asking me, who was that? Why are we dancing with him? And, and I was like, oh, just this guy I met. And you know, I was 15 years old. So they were being protective, you know, they were being parents. And so I remember not wanting to go home, but I had to. And he was like, you know what, go home. Your parents are calling you. And I was like, okay, whatever, I'll go. And so yeah, that night I went to sleep, very happy that I had danced with him all night and that I had built the courage to ask him. So long story short, um, that night ended and a few more days passed. There was no more dances, but there was a night that he had gone to see me at my house he had added me on facebook he had added me okay and then i messaged him and i was like oh hey you added me okay hi and then we ended up talking you know and i was like oh you know what we can meet up at my house in this and in mexico you guys i don't know if you guys know this but our parents are very strict they're like you're gonna talk at the house you're not gonna go around and talk to people walking around el rancho where other people are gonna judge you and i was like oh fine and then when it was time to go my parents came out and they were like hey it's time to go you have like 10 minutes and so we were saying goodbye when i stand up right we were sitting down i stand up he stands up he's like this tall i'm like this 
And so I get on the sidewalk. So now I'm like a little bit right here now. <laughs> he just leans in for a kiss. And I was like, oh my God, like in my mind, I was like, what? Okay, this is the best night ever, right? <laughs> 15 year old me. And I don't know, it was like, it wasn't awkward. It was just very like, it just happened, you know? It's, it wasn't awkward at all. I don't know, maybe it was because we were meant to be. We just had that connection. Um, We ended up like talking a little bit more after that kiss and I was like, oh, this, I don't know how to act, you know? What was I gonna say? <laughs> oh, I didn't like the kiss because I did. <laughs> and um, so then I went to bed really happy. December 31st came and we were all together as a family. We were waiting for the new year and he comes to see me. I think we had another kiss. I'm not sure. I don't remember that night. All I remember was that I have one picture of us that night right here. So he went home. I was with my family. And so the next day we leave back to the United States and he stays in mexico right well we get to the united states i get this message from him so we start talking for a few months it was just us friends at the time he was going through some really hard stuff and i ended up being there for him i i was going through some things too um not as serious as his though but we um we were there for each other you know so that kind of like friendship was building you know and i remember it was like october and we were talking about being with each other and i was like mm, you serious that's not gonna work out and so you know we were like okay you know what forget about it it's fine we'll just stay as friends but then december comes and he tells me hey i really want you to be my girlfriend and again i was like you know what I don't think so it's not gonna happen and so he just kept trying for a few days and I kept telling him no and no and no let's just stay friends on December 23rd he came home and he just kept telling me hey I'm gonna confess to you like I can't I, I want you to be my girlfriend girlfriend and I just can't live without you anymore and I was <laughs> like okay and, and I was like it's gonna be really hard for us to be long distance or how are we gonna talk how are we gonna see each other what are our parents gonna think oh because it's not something common so december 23rd 2017 i said yes to him but the first month or so it, it was jealousy but we were we were both immature i was 16 he was 18. we didn't know how to go about a long distance relationship so we thought it meant like knowing where the other person was 24 7 mm. or having control over that person or being jealous and really it's not that that's not love you know it's been two years and five months now and obviously at the beginning it was very hard <clears throat> but we stuck through it and we've matured now and uh, we're not perfect yet, but we are working and we have learned from past mistakes. We know how to talk to each other. We know when e when the other person needs space. We know when the other person doesn't need space and really needs us to be there for them. Hey guys, so this is where things get a little bit more serious. And also I want to point out that these tips have worked for us. They might have worked for you too. Obviously, um, you can modify these tips to work for your personal relationship. Every relationship needs communication, no matter what. If there's no communication, there's nothing, okay? Your base starts with communication. We start building up on it, but if there's no communication, everything's going to keep falling and falling and falling constantly. So you have to know how to communicate with each other. You have to understand that your personal problems, especially when there's a long distance relationship, have to be shared with your significant other. You don't have to give them details, but you do have to at least let them know like, hey, you know what? I'm going through some hard things. I want to be left alone or hey, you know what? I'm going through some hard things and I want to talk about them. I need you to be there for me. You, that's the kind of communication that you need to have because over the phone or, or just through a camera, you can't know what the other person is going through. 
So that's why you have to tell each other, you know what, this is happening in my life, this is why I'm acting like this, or I'm kind of sad, but it has nothing to do with you, it's just what's going on in my life. You have to set away your pride and be like, you know what, is this worth us ending our relationship, or is this worth fighting each other over? No. Try to keep your conflicts personal. Don't be posting on social media. I had an argument with my boyfriend or this or that. Don't do that. It's just going to have bystanders, you know, <clears throat> budge in. And they're going to give you maybe advice that ends up affecting you guys and not helping you guys. We see each other about twice per year. Last year, I went to my army training and... I had to leave for five months. It was the year that I had turned 18. So, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take an airplane. I'm just going to go see him. I'm going to take a trip before I have to leave five months uncommunicated with him. So I told my parents they didn't agree with me, but I, um, I still had done it. And honestly, I don't regret it. Nothing bad came out of the situation. It was just that I was 18 and my parents being very protective of me um, just didn't really want me to go i don't regret making the decision myself and not letting other people influence my um decisions and so that was the big test for us we ended up surviving obviously we're still here may 2020 um and that made it stronger that really really did make us stronger it made our trust go up when i was in basic training he sent me letters um all the way from mexico to the united states but the letters never came um, so they always got returned, so he ended up saving them, and then when I came out of basic training, um, he showed me the letter. August of 2019, I took another trip, and I went to see him. Acabatela. Chipita. Oh, shit, it's fucking hot. We have a dog together. He said it's my dog, but obviously he takes care of her in Mexico. So one of the pros of being in a long distance relationship is you get more space for yourself. It's like you get to be alone, you know, and you just miss them. It makes you miss them more. And I guess that could be a con, but it just makes the relationship even better because when you do talk, it's like you both miss each other so much that it just makes everything better when you are together. A con would be not seeing each other and the time that it could take to see each other again. You know, maybe you're not, you don't have the money for it. You don't have the money to be traveling or maybe you don't have the time for it. Another pro would be you build trust. You really do. You have to have trust in your relationship in order in order for it to work. Any relationship, but especially a long distance relationship. Another con would be arguments. When you have arguments over long distance, it's very hard because you don't see that person. You're not looking at that person. You're probably just on the phone, you know, or you're probably texting. Um, when we argue, we try to call each other. That way our messages don't get like misinter misinterpreted or our tones don't get like misinterpreted. Because I could send him a message and he'd be like, why are you yelling at me? I'm like, I'm not yelling, you know. So I call him and then everything ends up being okay. But <laughs> guys are big babies, you know, guys exaggerate everything. <laughs> what did my parents think well at the beginning my parents didn't really think much about it they didn't think it was going to work out i kind of like sensed it you know i was like mm, they don't trust me they don't believe this could work out after two years and a half of being together they've seen like oh okay so this is really like serious this is really a serious relationship you have to love each other for it to work if you don't love each other why be together you know why go through the suffering why go through moments of sadness why why do that you know 
if it's gonna be more sadness than happiness it's not worth it it's not that's when that's when you have to look at your relationship and be like okay am i suffering more or am i happy so it goes both ways you both have to communicate you both have to put in effort if only one is putting effort you're pulling all the weight yourself and the other one is not so this person is going to get tired you know so it always has to be a balance there's days when your significant other is not going to be there for you because they might have problems of themselves you know and that's okay that's life but there comes a time where you have to say okay does this happen all the time where i need them and they're not there for me or or are they just going through some things now okay guys we're back everything's okay my mom was just making some tacos dorados there you go guys i hope you guys have a great day thank you for watching all the way to the end and see you until the next video thank you